Uh, okay. So where do I have to go now? Oh, nowhere. I'm just leaving, I guess. Okay. And how do I do that exactly? Aha, maybe through here. Follow the access Whoa, tunnel. Driver, hang on. Wait, where, where are you going? There should have been the end of the facility. According to the blueprints, anyway. Uh oh. We found a secret hidey hole. <clears throat> okay, did I just wanted to make sure that was actually a dead end and not. Okay, good. What is this place? Security protocol activated. Oh. Scan artist security credentials immediately. Really? I didn't want to do that. Well, well. After all these years, an honor still has something to hide. <laughs> We're definitely onto something now. Driver, anything you find down there. Scan and transmit it back to us. We'll work on disengaging the security protocol. Okay. Okay, here's something. This thing in the deep zone, they called it the well. Oh, fantastic. Tobias, run those reports through the decryptor and see what you can find. I just leave the car here. Do a bit of running. This Tobias, your remnant origin oh, story, Tower. if you will. Okay. So let me guess. You're about to ruin a good urban legend with a bunch of science. <laughs> Fine, I'll read this one myself. <laughs> nice work, driver. We'll review these and summarize our findings after. Okay. Research uh, search the research platforms for scannable lab data. Okay, so I just need to keep doing that. Fine. Please don't electrocute me. This is great for all the plasma that I'm getting, though. Where's the scannable data here? Aha! These lab notes are complete to pressure. What about these diagrams, though? It looks like he was trying to convey something. You can admire the doctor's newfound art skills all you want. You won't find anything useful in them. Okay. I think I saw one over here, so I'm just going to backtrack a little bit. What did I see sparking there? Oh, was it the, uh... I think it might have been the thing that I smashed, right? What's that? What's that noise? I don't like it. I don't like it one bit. There is a gold mine of uh, plasma down here. Problem is, my battery's running out. <laughs> <laughs> 
my, sorry, my battery, my uh, hammer durability is wearing out pretty quickly. Okay, here's another one. This is a decrypted record of the accident. Poppy, are you sure you want to hear this? It's got details about Ellen's final moments. It's been over 30 years. I'm past ready. Go on, driver. Keep snooping and see what else you can find. Alrighty. Can do. I think we should drive the car around. Yeah, maybe now's the time to drive the car around. Okay. So, I wonder if I can make another impact hammer. I can go this way around because I've already cleared the towers, that would be great. Or at least cleared some of the towers, I guess. Not all of them. I'm going to take my, uh, my second here, sorry. I'm going to take my waypoint off the map because it's driving me mad. There it is. Alright. Okay, did I scan this one? Yeah, I did. Okay. So... This one's got three generators on it. Yikes. Nothing to scan here, huh? Hmm. I doubt it's up here. Right? I suppose it could be. Uh, nope. I guess not. Yeah, check that one. So, which one am I missing? I really feel like it has to be here somewhere, like in, in one of these ones, surely. Hmm. Oh, is it that there? In the middle? I thought I'd... Uh, hmm. Wait, wait. Oh, right here. I went right past it and hit this and didn't scan it. Adam's lab notes. Maybe my late husband sent us something useful from the grave after all. Uh -huh. all clear. Yeah. Give us a moment, we'll let you know what we found in all this data. And make your way back to the auto shop after you're done scouring the place. And drive her? Thank you. You're welcome. However, if this is our exit, I might try and grab a little bit more of this stuff. You know, while I can. Maybe that's enough. Let's go. Let's get out of here. Super successful run, though. Didn't take tons of damage. Got lots of nice resources. Pretty good haul overall. 
We didn't find the wriggling wreck anomaly, unfortunately, but, uh, you know, otherwise we did okay. Oh, there we go. There it is. The spike log. There it is. That, I believe, is what we need for the, um, the puncture-proof tires. Oh. Oh, I'm going all the way up here. Okay. Maybe I spoke too soon. We're not out of the woods yet. I mean, we could. We could just throw this exit open and just drive straight to it and get out of here. There's also a repair shop right there. I'm gonna play this. Drive out, you hit the jackpot. We've got a lead on what you're heading toward in the deep zone. Tobias, give us the rundown about the well. Ought to classify it as a hot spot of ultra high energy gamma radiation. Its eruptions were spontaneous and ultimately Otto made no conclusion about what caused it, when it would blow, or how destructive it would be. Otta, of course, wanted to control this bottomless well of energy. So they brought in Dr. K and Allen to research activation and containment. They discovered a way to reliably trigger the well, and that was the remnants. And that's what the remnants have been leading people towards. The well. Ah, uh -huh. okay. This second report's a good one. Ready to hear where the remnants came from? The original remnants were created in Dr. K's lab. They aimed to create a trigger for activating the well. By infusing objects with a carefully calibrated limb wave, the ones that shared a resonant frequency would... Yeah, yeah, just get to the good stuff. <sighs> you know, you'd be a much better ghost hunter if it weren't for that unfortunate attention span. <laughs> Reading this makes it obvious how the remnants ended up in the wild. Wait, wait, what, 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 how? The gamma ray surge that caused the mass hallucination event. That energy irradiated everything within a 10 mile radius. Objects with the right characteristics absorbed that energy and became the remnants people found out in the zone. Wow. Francis would get a kick out of that one. <laughs> uh, I'll tell him later. Yeah, you guys need to make up, yeah? Okay, are they done talking, you think? Nope. Not I've more. reviewed Dr. K's lab notes. And now we know what he was doing in that lab after the accident. Spinning in circles for years. His injuries were real. Dr. K's radiation exposure should have been fatal. And the minute he could stand on his feet again, Otta shuttled him right back to his lab and bid the monkey to dance. They allowed him to carry on in the hopes that he would reproduce anything useful. He worked for two whole years before they quietly retired him from his post. Sorry, we scrambled your brain. Here's your pension. Bye. Okay. So I wanted to wait because I think I'm just going to open this portal and then we're just going to leave. No. Okay. All right. We're still going. That accident record ready, Tobias. It's time. Okay then. September 14, 1961. Otter's finalized report on what happened that night. Dr. K and Allen were testing the activation potential of lab-created remnants. That night was a run-of-the-mill remnant test, nothing out of the ordinary. The remnant in question was a tungsten cube. At 3.23 a.m., the cube was brought towards the well, and the well reacted at nominal levels. However, at the 500-meter distance, the cube was sucked into the well and triggered the gamma-ray surge. The energy output continued ramping up, and at 15 seconds, Showed no signs of stopping. Then, a Alan. Go on. I can handle it. Dr. K testified that Alan engaged the suppression protocol, then the kill switch, both of which failed. Dr. K ordered Alan to get to safety, but Alan. Alan insisted on staying at the controls. 
Only when he flipped the radiation polarity did the energy output plateau, then collapse back into itself. Ellen's gamma radiation exposure was fatal due to his proximity to the well. If it weren't for him, the entire zone might have gone under. That's who Alan was. Loyal until the very end. I'm sorry, Oppie. I'd expect nothing less from him. Once that car gets to the well, we can expect another gamma ray eruption. We'll need a way to cut it off. I may have found the answer in Alan's laptops. His work on that suppression technique is... What's interesting is Dr. K and Alan didn't know any more than we do now. They had no conclusions about what the well is. Or what the remnants did. Or how they interacted with this well. Maybe there's ladles that scoop out a meter amount of gamma radiation. Maybe they trigger an eruption that we can't stop and will destroy the zone if we get it too close. That's a hell of a rage. What are we going to do? We keep going. Uh, but if it's an eruption... I already sacrificed the significance of the monster. deep zone easy peasy except for the issue of the old wall right yeah that uh, you got some genius idea up your sleeve huh is that how you think it works that scientists can't run genius at will well yeah do you oh, well in this case i do but don't expect it to work like that every time driver the quarantine checkpoints will be the best way through the old wall but they're death traps in their own right but I designed something to help. Check out the blueprints I sent over.
The old anomalies took up residence in the crossing points. It's not enough to have a shield. The shield itself needs to be shielded. The energy drain on that shield is massive. It won't last you more than five seconds. Yes, and? You'll need to recharge on the go, but the Deep Zone's grid is completely dark. You know, what if we could reroute our power into the Deep Zone? But we'd need to jumpstart the network somehow. That car is basically the world's most overpowered electromagnet on wheels. The driver induces a current, then you open the electrical floodgates. And they'd have to induce the current the entire way through the old wall while making the crossing and maintaining speed. I don't know what to tell you. If you don't believe the driver and that car's got what it takes by now, then go back to hunting ghosts. We've got a job to do here. This could work. Are you in, Francis? I, I, I don't know. Look, we have a real chance of losing everything at the old wall. I'd like to not fail this far along. How can we know this will work? We don't. That's how science works. We form a theory, and we test it, and we fail, and fail, and fail, and only sometimes do we succeed. Come on, Francis. Please? Fine. I'll do it. <laughs> All right. The team is assembled. Nice work on that limb shield driver. We'll have the power grid prepped by the time you reach the old wall.
so annoyingly I um muted my mic during the last ten minutes <laughs> of that last area while I was busy listening to the uh the voices and I uh, forgot to unmute. So it's about ten minutes of me not talking, which you know is what it is. Sorry about that. So we're back and we're good. Um what is this? This must be where pies go down. Sorry, pie goes. Pies go when they die. Who keeps sending me these messages? Right, do we want to research anything before we head off somewhere else? Yes. <laughs> this. God damn it. I mean, we could do the pie, pie, power grip tires. But, um... Hold up, they use power. I mean, power grip. Okay, fine. But they... I didn't realize they actually used electricity. Could limb technology supplement the conventional wheel by boosting grip and intelligently analyzing traction and friction? We're about to find out. So compared to mine, they're good on the road. They're much better on the road. They're a lot worse on off-road. And they're terrible at water. Hmm. I mean, the old terrains are generally speaking the best. Ish. Ish. But consider it is like the best you can get. I don't know. I think I expected a little bit more. Especially because it's like they can intelligently analyze traction and friction. You think they'd be better at they could just adapt to the different driving conditions, right? You know what? Let's unlock it anyway, because why not? There we go. So, okay, anything else we want to get? No, how do we let's why are you still here? Go back. Go over here. Oh. I was just stop, didn't realize I started stuff in there. Okay. I got this thing. I think... I can't remember now if I got that and, you, and I was talking at that point or if I was muted. But anyway, we got that thing. I don't know how to use it, but I got it. So, this is the story. You see, we still can't go to zones up here. Like, why? Like, I kind of want to. But it won't let me. Scan poop. Erm. Um. Uh, nothing really tells me much at all. This scan here. Nothing there. Malfunctioning mess. Disruptive discharge. Hmm. You think that could be a thing? We're looking for something that's electrical. Right? Could be we need to go somewhere with electrical stuff happening. Right? So maybe... Oops. Maybe if we go to G1. Right? That would work. I reckon we try that. I reckon we try to go G1 and see if we can find something there. Uh, we're good, right? I have everything stacked. Yeah, look at that. Yeah, this is this is silly. This limb shield thing. I wanted to actually put it on my bumper, and I actually did. If you, if you watch, I put it on here. But then the quest is like, yeah, now nah, you've got to uh, you've got to put it in the car. So I was like, why? I just, I mean, I just want to put it here. 
anyway. Anyway. Oh, it wants me to diagnose, doesn't it? What do you want me to diagnose? Oh, nothing. Apparently that's... Okay, fine. Let's go. So we could... So we could find the wriggling wreck anomaly. Finally get this battery stuff unlocked once and for all. Okay, let's go here. No. Didn't want to stop there. What do we got here? Anything exciting? Nothing. Alright. I guess we just zoom all the way through here. I had to have a horrible storm. Were you around when the old wall was nearly breached? You want to know if I was involved? I mean, sure. No one knew more about where anomalies came from than you. Heck, I mean, you know, the only reason anyone knew anything about anomalies was because of the research branch I'll that take it. you all started to build. Yes. And we developed ways to prevent anomalies, not create them. Well, you can't prevent something if you don't know where it's created in the first place. So you did pick up a thing or two around us, scientists. Jeez. The storm is insane. It'd be kind of good to have a wind turbine on, right? I'd be making a lot of energy right now. But I'm not going to play that. Because... Uh, here we go. All I know is, I didn't give two craps about anomaly prevention. You fought uphill the entire way. Never thought I'd see the day where you'd sugarcoat anything coming out of your mouth. The Harmonic Disruption Research Lab was an abject failure. No, I wasn't involved, but I stood by and let it happen. By that point, the Lynn project was in a bad way. Either it found a breakthrough and justified the government resources it was sucking up, or the entire project was put down. Everything depended on this technological quantum leap that evaded us for decades. In response, all good sense went straight out the window. For every wonder pulled out of thin air, Lynn technology conjured increasingly greater horrors. But it was done in the name of progress, and we were powerless to stop it. The Harmonic Disruption Research Branch was all I could do to soften the atrocities Arda unleashed in the name of progress. I tried to clean up my mess, but I failed. Okay, let's go. Serious. Loose. And a flat. Are you kidding me? Jeez, that's just that's just bad luck, huh? Just give it a good old tap and it's good to go. So we've got some electrical discharge in this zone, so I'm curious to see. Like, what is this? What is this thing? If we scanned this, that's an airstrip. I'm not sure what that means. 
I mean, I know what an airstrip is, but in terms of it being in a an anomaly, no idea. What the? F okay, that made me float. Interesting. interesting, but not what I needed, unfortunately. Oops. Yeah, give me those. Thank you. I have a horrible feeling I'm never going to find this thing. You know? stuck forever never been able to get make the most out of my batteries because I can't find the damn wriggling wreck oh I should have probably turned the lights off shouldn't I now oh, well seriously oh my god What is that thing? Let me scan that thing. Come here. <gasps> oh my god, I found it. There's no way I just found it. I mean, I did. So I, I take back everything. <laughs> take back everything I just said. I found it. Easy peasy. Right, that's uh, my word. Um, yeah, I guess. Uh, I guess. Let me grab those power nodes. Okay. Didn't really plan on doing the next story mission, but... Doesn't look like I have a lot of choice right now. I mean, I could probably grab the power and, and, uh, and, and dip. Honestly, that would probably work fine. Well, that's a big swarm, like a big, big area of acid thing. Where's the power? There it is. So just leave? Yeah, let's just leave. Oh, no, 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 don't do that. Oh, I suppose I should have known it's an unstable zone, right? So, yeah, okay. Should have known it would have disappeared pretty quickly. Now, is that one of those things that I can activate and leave without having to use any, any limb power? Maybe. Should we just carry on? Cross the old wall. I'm kind of curious. Let's see if it is. Oh, get, get off. There we go. Thanks. You know, I think it might be. No. No, I don't think it is. Was, however, a, a dumpster. It wasn't a friendly one, but it was a dumpster at least. 
Uh, okay, so I really just can't get out, huh? I can't leave without... Where is this? Oh, it's down the hill. Okay. Yeah, I don't think I can get out here, right? No, it's not one of those things. Damn it. Alright, looks like we're heading over to the next zone, unfortunately. I have another... F I have two more flat tires. Are you kidding me? What's with all the flat tires? Why, why am I getting constant flat tires? What's going on? Oh, this is bad. Go, 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 go. Hey, where are you going? Come here. Oh, my word. Oh, dear. I may have found the wriggling wreck, but at what cost? But at what cost? Oh dear. We're almost out of power. Which is fun. But the zone is right here, so I'm just hoping I can ditch through it, and then we're good. Oh my word, oh my word. We got it, we got it, we got it. Alright. Cool. Oof. I mean, sure. Oh, no, that's right, I said to go here, didn't I? No, oh, that's my fault, that's on me. I suddenly thought, I was like, I didn't say to go to the, the quest object, like the main objective, but I realized this is... Yeah, yeah, it's my fault. I got it, I got it. Wow. Yikes. Flat tire. Oh wait, what? What's wrong with this one? Oh, it's loose again? Um, Ceiling. Mechanics. Oh god. I am out of materials for them. Uh, Wait, what? Oh. Wait, what? Come here. G give me that. Nice. Give it a little tap a -rooney. We're good to go. Give me this. Awesome. Perfect. Is that yellow? Is it just damaged? I think it's just damaged, right? Okay. I say we grab these two. We grab this one. Then we activate this bridge when we get out. I think that's exactly what we do. It's a good idea. Then we can uh, go and do the research for our... Um, our batteries. Oh my, okay, hello. Well, that was... That was an experience, but why, why was that so slippery? Is it because it's wet? I, I mean, I know. I know. Alright. Stay there, thank you. Let's grab this one. It's further away. So we'll grab it. And then we grab the other one. Why? What? Give 
bring my power back. Look. Oh my. Oh my word. Are you kidding me? Come on now. Let me just put the anchor in the car. I honestly have no idea what's going on. Really? This guy as well now? Terrific. <laughs> Everything is going wrong right now. Everything. Turn the radio off. Sheesh. The game did not like me taking both of those anchors up, did it? Not at all. Okay. And we're good now, though. Uh-oh. Oof. Now I need to paddle tires so I can actually drive on this, uh... Waterlogged roads. Ah, there's the power. I see it now. Oh no, I see one of them too. Leave me alone. I don't like those things. I want all of these. Thank you very much. Something's possessing my car again, isn't it? Oh god, is it that thing there? Time to go. Oh, <laughs> damn. Jeez, this zone so far has been utterly brutal. Tossing all, getting tossed all over the place. Ooh, nice. Oh, sorry, it's just a, a reading one, not a listening one. Right, I think I got everything I wanted, power-wise. Um, I might just loot these buildings here a little bit, and then we'll uh, then we'll leave. Wait, is my battery? No, I was gonna say. It's like is my battery light on again? But no, it's good. It's good. That wasn't really worth it, was it? Oh. Wow, there's a lot of stuff dropped out of that uh, radio. Okay. So, yeah, I'm thinking we activate this and we can hit this tunnel here, go straight through it, come out and straight into it. Then we can do our battery stuff, and we can, uh, yeah, we can do our thing. How quick? Really quick. Oh, and the red's coming in right behind it. Are you kidding me? Alright, I was going to stop and try and collect some stuff, but... Not with that red red zone coming in just behind. I'm going to head off real quick. It's a shame I'm not shielded here in the tunnel. That'd be kind of cool. At least from the yellow storm, you know. 
the red one, fair enough, but the yellow one at least would be kind of cool. Okay, we're nearly there. Not worried. As the game completely sabotages me. In the next five seconds. Oh, no, we're good. Out we go. Noise. Good. You're back safe. Of course I am. What do you think was going to happen? I mean, I didn't get merch, but I got some stuff. Most importantly... Oops. I found the wriggling wreck. I'm super happy about it. Uh-oh. That was... Oh, oh. All of it. Okay, cool. You again, really? We're seeing amazing tardigrade variations here. Gorgeous specimens displaying unusual behaviors. Ooh. Interesting. Okay. We good. Now the most important thing. Oh, yes. It's so good. Do it. Give me this. Yeah. Oh, finally. God, that feels like a, a whole effort. Hey, that's a seat battery, is it, or is it a side battery? Side battery. Yes. This feels amazing. Oh, I can go all the way to the end. Roof. XL roof battery. You see, anchor energy converter does sound kind of tempting. Leak resistant battery. Hmm. Locks wet, locks charged. Yeah, we can use raindrops, wind, solar. The problem with these is they're so situational. I feel like you'd have to have all of them with you at any given time. And then use them as and when you need them. You know? So, I only have enough for one of these two at the moment. Either a real large roof battery or an anchor energy converter. I'm going to do the converter. Screw it. Um, so that's a seat rack. Same health, same capacity. Just leak proof, I guess. Uh, sure. No. Nope. Come here. Whoa. So. Ah, oh, look at it all. It's so good. So I need two limb chips. And to make limb chips, I need electronics, I have some. But Olympium fragments, wherever you get those from, I have no idea. So lightning resistant battery, that's for the... Um... Is 
Does it say where it goes? I can't make them. Why can't I make them? Oh, I don't have enough plasma. Damn. That was weird. Okay. High capacity battery. Now, does this go... Seat rack, seat rack, seat rack. So that'll be it for this episode. If you enjoyed, leave a like, subscribe for more, and I'll see you in the next one.